bum 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 the Peter Dislike Show bum 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 so today marks 50 days since I um officially returned to the dating scene this year it's April Fool's Day I remember that day and I told myself I would go with a 100-day trial period and reevaluate. So we're halfway there. And already there's been interesting lessons. There's been ups and downs. And um, it's been a, a great experience. It, I wouldn't call it a complete um, write-off, even though I didn't meet anybody. Um, I've been on several dates. I've been kind of half and half these last 50 days. Half the time I go out by myself, the other half I go out with a partner. And it's really nice because it allows me to compare and contrast the two, right? It's very easy to get lost on why what you're doing is the best thing in the world, right? When you have a side-by-side, -side, that, that is really nice. So I started with um, a friend of um, a co-worker from my last job. And um, I had just um, uh, landed in, uh, a job at a community college, and we had an orientation. And I decided to bring her to the orientation, and I quickly discovered I got a lot of respect for the first time in many, 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 many years at a job. And I, I really feel that helped me cement my foot deep into the into the. Uh, into the culture there and I'm glad it turned out that way even though I don't see that girl anymore I think that was a big win for me now the problem is that I got to admit nothing can ever compare with the freedom of going out to dinner by yourself or going to a movie or any other event because of um, the freedom right you don't need to dress up very much for the occasion you dress casually sometimes i roll out of bed and don't even think about taking a shower or cleaning up um, other times um I, I sometimes don't practice the best of table manners the the way i like to describe it is that going out to eat by yourself is kind of like diving into the deep end of the food right in terms of actually enjoying your food for every little bit that it deserves right when you go out with the girl it feels like you can only dip your your toes into the into the food right going out by yourself is like diving into the deep end of the food but you know what i used to have eating disorders so maybe that's not the, i'm not the best person to talk about this but you can, you can sense the other kinds of freedoms as well, right? You don't have to dress properly, uh, table manner issues. Um, you can, depending on the um, venue of where you're going, you could, you could use some uh, very uh, rough language, right? I, I love to go Peter Dislike show. I certainly wouldn't do that if, if there was a date involved, right? Sometimes depending on the people at the place that I'm eating or drinking at, you know, sometimes a few cuss words can come out and um, I, I could just be me, right? Can't really do that with the partner. Um, although, um, like I said, going out with the partner sometimes does buy me a little bit of respect. One thing I love about this time around is that I haven't had too many problems finding a date to go out with. And plus, I really love my time by myself anyway. And so I feel a sense of freedom to um, call the shots sometimes. So today I was supposed to go out with a girl that I met at a board game meetup. But yesterday, I got very excited about a computer game I was writing and I ended up pulling an all-nighter. And um, I wasn't able to sleep during the day today either because of how hot it is here in Phoenix. And so right now as I record this, I haven't slept in uh, almost 40 hours. And so I was in no mood to go out with the girl. But I wasn't up, you know, in the past I, I was more desperate. I would have gone out anyway and really embarrassed myself. But now that I don't have any trouble finding a partner to go out with, and I like going out by myself anyway, right? I have a lot of um, chips on the table. And so I was able to tell the girl, you know, something came up and I was up all night. Uh, why don't we try a different time? And um, even if I never see her again, that won't be a complete loss, right? It's better to lose that than to really embarrass myself, right? So we're 50 days into this. 
I promised um, 100, I was modeling my 100 days after Roosevelt, so 100 days, so uh, it, the first 100 days in the office, right? Uh, if it goes well, then I'll go the 12 or 13 years that Roosevelt was in the office. That was, that was my, I was modeling it after that. I, I love using um, lengths of time from, from historical events, right? So Nixon froze prices for 90 days. So sometimes if I need to take a time out from something like the writing the computer games or, or uh, making Bismuth art, and, uh, although I, I, I told myself I was gonna temporarily suspend making Bismuth art for 90 days, but I, I kept my promise for only like eight days, if I remember correctly. Uh, I had enough to sell and it was causing a lot of, of drama and sleepless nights and you know bismuth is kind of interesting because every time you pour it you never know how it's going to turn out and if it turns out really well you end up wanting to do more and more and more and if it doesn't turn out well you, you end up with the sunk cost fallacy i got to get something out of it and so uh, it's kind of like pulling the slot machine right um all right this is the Peter Dislike Show. Bum, 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 The Peter Dislike Show. Bum, 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 bum.